Welcome to my F1 2024 Qatar Grand Prix predictions. I'm Sogan, and <laughs> unfortunately, once again, I'm alone. That's gonna be fine. We should get AJX back on here soon. Anyways, uh, let's get into the predictions straight away. There's nothing much to talk about in terms of this track, obviously. Uh, it was a very difficult race for the drivers last time. It should be a little bit cooler this time around. Um, I guess there were some news, obviously. The the big news, uh, <laughs> kind of like entering the, in 2026, obviously. That's a topic for a whole other video, I, I would say. So I'm going to leave that for the next uh, next weeks. We're going to record that together with Ajax, hopefully. Uh, okay, Qatar. Um, I am i don't really think this track should be on the color, to be honest. I uh, don't quite see the, see the point. It's probably gonna get replaced by some other track in uh, in Qatar, but yeah. For for now, we're stuck with this um, bike track, I guess. Um, anyways, we're gonna get to the predictions. I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna go through the entire top five projects first. So he has signs for Quali P5, uh, P4 he has Lewis, P3 Piastri, P2. George and P1 Orlando. Interesting. Uh, Mercedes McLaren checkerboard for qualifying. Then for sprint quali, there's Lewis Hamilton as well as their sprint race. Interesting prediction for from AGX. Uh, for his Grand Prix prediction, it's P5 Lionel Norris, P4 Max. Oh, sorry. Okay, P3, it's Charles Leclerc, P2, George Russell, and P1, Lewis. Uh, yeah, Lewis. Uh, I don't know <laughs> these predictions, but they're having a Lewis base. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how, how big of a chance Mercedes has this weekend. I think Las Vegas was very specific. Mercedes don't quite seem to have everything sorted out when it comes to setups, especially on Warbur circuits, and this one, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be as cool as in Las Vegas. Fast last, fastest lap, uh, Lewis Hamilton as well, uh, from AJX. Then it's the least impressive team, AJX has a Red Bull in, and least impressive driver, Magnussen back this weekend, <laughs> put that there, Magnussen is the least impressive driver. Uh, most impressive team, Tor Rosso from AJX, and most impressive driver is Lewis. An actual prediction is a free car crash. I would say that means that our free cars, free cars are allowed. Oh, sorry, free cars are involved in a single car crash. So, yeah, uh, happened last year. I think even I, I think it happened twice actually. So uh, perhaps we could see that again this year. Well, not uh, mainly because I, I don't need more HX points at this point. <laughs> Qualifying for me, okay. I think I actually started sprint. Um, I go with Piastri sprint pull and Lanar sprint victory for qualifying. Um, P5. P5, gonna go with Lewis. P4. P4 Max. P3. George, P2, Oscar, and P1, Lando. And McLaren is going to be very strong this weekend. And for the Grand Prix, I'm going to stick with Russell P5, Hamilton P4, Max P3, uh, Lando P2, Oscar P1. And what? The switching it up for the Grand Prix compared to the sprint, basically. <laughs> yeah, uh, the McLaren is switching every session. Best lap for me. Um, hmm. Little bit lax time. I'm gonna go with Lando again. May happen again. Least impressive team. I'm gonna go with Haas. Least impressive driver. Hmm. Hmm. This is interesting. Um, I'm not quite sure who to pick. Um. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm gonna go with. Driver that might have a bad weekend. Call Pinto has never driven on this track before. 
yeah, it's it's good. It could be a struggle, especially on the kind of circuit that Punch has the, the mistakes and Galpinto has definitely a mistake in them as, as a rookie. Most of us have team from my side. I'm going to go with McLaren. Um, they're going to get a very good result this weekend, in my opinion, uh, after well, getting only a single podium in the last four races. That has to be said. Uh, McLaren really fell off um, from where they were in the middle of the season. Uh, most impressive driver that would be Pierre Gasly. I'm going to go with him. Uh, he has an insane streak of like five Q3s at this point. Well, if I B3 last time out, got a podium before that. This track, I, got, uh, I remember that. On this track, in 2021, he, he was in, this, in the first row. Or the second row, maybe. I don't know. Uh, he, he qualified like in the top three uh, last year. So, yeah, I think Gasly will, uh, will be good, good again this weekend. I don't know if I remember what was his... Uh, uh, how did 2022 pan out? I think it was. Yeah, it was Alonso's podium, I think. So, uh, yeah, I don't quite remember where Gasly was that year. Anyways, uh, right, the last one. Okay, Metro Prediction from my side. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with McLaren winning the World Constructors Championship. Um, they're leading Ferrari by like 27, no, no, 23 points. They need to outscore Ferrari by like 21 points. And considering this is a sprint weekend as well, there are so many points up for grabs. And I don't think Ferrari will suit this track. As a Ferrari car, I think it will struggle. And McLaren, on the other hand, should be very strong. So yeah, I'm going to go with this. Um, yeah, that's it for the predictions for the Qatar Grand Prix. Thanks for listening to me <laughs> waffling once again and have a next time. Okay, what did I just say? Have a next time. Sorry. Sorry, I'm uh, really bad at outros as Ajax knows me. Um, okay, I'm just going to end this quickly. Thanks everyone for watching, listening. Uh, have, a, have a great day and peace.